Ruby is a full-field, multi-purpose numerical model at the hub of the Kappa workstation. Linked to Sapphire, Topaz, or working standalone, it offers a specialist and non-specialist alike, an easily built click-and-draw model in minutes as opposed to hours or days. Multiple forecasts, reserves, and investigation of possible intervention opportunities can be run and history matched in a very short time frame. Ruby sits between single-cell material balance and massive simulation models. It replaces neither, but does much of the work of both. We will create a Ruby model from scratch following a simple, intuitive workflow. The first step is PVT definition. Based on correlations or input tables, the Ruby solver is compositional. The reservoir geometry is defined by either from a geomodeler export or by interactively tracing boundaries and faults over an image. Fault leakage and boundary properties, such as constant pressure or aquifer drive, may be added. The number of geological layers are user-defined. Spatial data, horizons, and thickness can be imported or picked on the 2D map for each layer. There is a choice of interpolation methods between points. Reservoir geometry complete, we now define the reservoir petrophysical properties by region. This includes permeability, porosity, and anisotropy and may be input manually or by dataset. Relative permeabilities and capillary pressure may also be controlled at this stage. Initial state defines the fluid contacts and may be applied by region. Well trajectories from simple vertical to the most complex and crossing any stratigraphy are input. Multiple perforations along the well, including skin and opening and closing times, can be input individually. For history matching purposes, real-time well pressure and rate data can be entered. Additional constraints can also be defined for abandonment conditions for wells and individual perforations. Property fields can be pre-visualized on the 3D map preview. The 3D grid generation is initialized by selecting the numerical settings and the required log and results outputs. The user has full control of the default time range, solver settings, and frequency of simulation restarts. The pressure and saturation fields are initialized, and the individual well indices are calibrated from the hidden PTA grid. The simulation is then started and may be paused at any time. Individual well production and pressures, together with reservoir statistical information, are displayed in a dedicated versus time plot and updated in real time during the simulation. In addition, simulated layer rates for each well, global production, average pressure, remaining fluids in place, and recovery factors in individual regions, layers, or property sets can also be visualized. A simulated production log per well showing the contribution by phase and zone is generated and time stepped in playback mode. Reference logs showing the well schematic and deviation survey loaded for each well are displayed with the simulation results. As stated, Ruby is the core of numerical modeling in the Kappa workstation. The unstructured Voronoi numerical model is common to Sapphire, Topaz, and Ruby. Only the local grid refinement around the well will be different. The grid forms automatically and with the minimum number of cells commensurate with the task at hand for faster simulations. Advanced graphic rendering allows the user to slice and dice a reservoir or sector in any direction using any time-lapse physical parameter while maintaining rapid intuitive build functionality and visualization tools. Static fields, such as permeability, porosity, and dynamic fields, such as pressures and saturations, can be displayed in 3D or 2D through vertical and horizontal cross-sections. This concludes the introduction to Ruby, Multipurpose Full Field Numerical Model Module. To learn more about this or any other Kappa modules, browse the website for literature, more videos, and example data, or contact support at kappaeng.com or your local Kappa office.